Hey, what's going on, everybody? Got ourselves another senior bat review for you guys. And this time we have the California bat. The world is called the California bat. Um, this is the one ounce in load. Guys, we're going to be out there in Wake Forest, North Carolina at Heritage High School under the lights. Um, we're going to go put some swings on this thing and kind of try it out, see what she's all about. But before we do that, we're going to test it. And guys, at the end of the video, we'll retest this bat and we'll let you know what we think of it. So, hey, let's go get started. All right, guys, we are going to test the California bat here. Get this on the 500. So that is 1450. 1450 is like 210. Yeah, so like 207, 210 range. Yep, there we go. Really? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, we hate flexi handles. Oh, damn, that went out. It's like a swim. Yeah. Oh, it's hot. Yeah. But that one up the middle felt flexi. It might just be me, though. All right, guys, let's give you a little information about the California bat. So this features a 13-inch barrel. Now, one thing you'll notice here that they give a date of birth on their batch, which this says it was, this came out in 1225-23. Now, these feature sizes of 25, 26, and 27 ounces. And, guys, these do come in a one-ounce end load, and these are, of course, are a one-piece bat. And this is the California bat, as you can see the end cap here, guys. They, I mean, you took four swings, and that's four. You know what, shut your mouth. Four swings in a row. I got on video that are good. There it is. Ah, uh, sorry. Hey, Talk four, four for five is really good for you. That's like fucking PlayStation numbers for you. There you go. Side out too. Damn, that went out. All right, guys, we're gonna scale this twenty-five ounce California bat. It is twenty-five five on the scale. Sixteen five on the end. Get the hand right, right here, good. Eight six on the hand. And that's what the factory get. And this is a twenty five ounce bat. You know, the one guy like the A-roll or something. Like Say what? Yeah. What was that big dude, Brad? Hey, right, guys. Big, we are going to test California bat here. Final testing. Started out at 210, I believe. Ooh. It's 
down at 1200 and that thing's like already at 160 guys yeah 160 God bless, dude. That's out of the wrapper. I mean, we just peeled the wrapper off. How many is that? That's got to be almost. Oh, dude, check that bat. Okay, guys, so let's just finish up swinging the California bat from the California Bat Company. Um, first thing first, let's go to loading real quick. So this was a 25 ounce bat, 16 and a half on the end, eight, six on the hands, really good load, but I had a hard time believing this was a 25 ounce bat because I would have swore I thought it was a 26 ounce. Now we, we tried to get a 26, that's what they didn't have any, but, um, I don't know if I would go down a size because I have no idea what the 26 feels like, but this, this had a really good load. It wasn't super light. Like some of the other bats that you'll see out there, like the Rollins brands. Um, but I will say this, this felt good. And I'll kind of, I was kind of going back to my overlap grip. So I didn't want a super heavy bat. And this one just felt really good guys. But, um, big sweet spot. Now with that big sweet spot coming in, it started out on the, in the tester at like 207, 210 in the wrapper dropped down to 160. Now we went out there on the field. I'll put probably, we probably put seven, 70 swings, probably around 75 swings on it. Just out there at the field hitting regular, um, Pro M, some from Freedom Balls, and the new uh, uh, Fat Guy BP Balls. And it, I didn't test it then after 70 swings. Then um, about two days later, I went out there to the field by myself, took some cuts with my son, and I hit nothing but 52, 300 balls. Now, with that being said, it got around to 110 swings. Went in there and compression tested it again, dropped down to like 160. So guys, hitting some 52, 300 balls, and it dropped down that much with 100 swings, I would say I wouldn't BP this bat a lot. This would I would consider this maybe a softer barrel, even sound it soft when you hit it. But um, I wouldn't BP this bat a lot, especially if you guys that have the higher bat speeds. You guys with the lower bat speeds, um, maybe it would be okay for you guys. But if I was a guy, just a regular guy with some decent bat speed, I'd probably put 25 cuts on this thing, throw it in my bag, and make it a gamer only. Um, but uh, I, I don't know, just... Some of those bats that drop compression that fast, man, you're, they're going to get too soft on you and the ball, the walls are just going to flex so much and the ball won't go nowhere. Now this bat was hot out of the wrapper guys. I mean, I'm just telling you, I could have took this, I could have took the wrapper off at the field and went and played in a tournament with this and I'd have been just fine. Um, big sweet spot. I know Chad mentioned something about the flex in the handle. Doesn't really have any flex. Chad just missed hit the ball, but, um, Got a nice butt of an inload. And like I said, just ginormous sweet spot on this thing. Breaks in super fast. I like the feel of this bat. Um, I like the knob. I like it how it is. It feels good. Nice, kind of a thinner thinner handle. Not, It's just like kind of norm, not super thin. But um, guys, this one's a good one from uh, California Bat Company. But I wouldn't, I would just say not a lot of BP swings on this bat. Um, maybe just if you're going to hit anything, hit um, like 52, 300 balls or hit them like the fat guy BP balls, the 52, 300 balls with those. But um, hey, I like this bat. I'll have a, um, a discount code down into the description for you guys for California Bat Company. That'll help you guys out. It doesn't do anything for me, but it helps you guys out. But guys, um, this is a winner from California Bat Company. If you like a softer barrel, and if you're not a guy that's going to take a lot of BP, this might be a really good bat for you. Oh, and by the way, I want to mention one more thing. Um, there was a texture on this paint. So it's got like a matte finish, as you can tell. Um, it's not sticky. Doesn't feel rubberized. It doesn't feel like a rubber, but man, you could definitely tell it's got like some kind of traction on the paint where you can help just grab the ball, where they'll help cut or spin the ball if you're a cutter or you're a guy that spins the ball real well. Because I do think this would help a lot with for, for those guys. It, it keeps the ball marks on the bat a little bit, but you really can cut the ball with this thing really easy. So um, and and, it, and with it being a softer barrel. And that texture on the ball and the barrel collapses, it'll grab the ball a little bit better. You can just really spin that thing. But uh, hey guys, 
I guess that's it until next time. Keep hitting it. And hey guys, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, reach down there and hit the subscribe button.